Quickie Forex, quick tips and tricks to improve your Forex trading and make you more money. In this video I want to talk about why it's important not to stop trading once you've had a few losses in a row and why it is important to stop trading once you've had a few winners in a row. So let's have a look at what I've got here and then I'll extrapolate um, or uh, rather uh, not, not exaggerate but um, okay, I've forgotten the word but I'll, uh, I'll talk about it further. Now what I've got here is I've generated a, this is an Excel worksheet and I've generated a series of random numbers between 0 and 1 using the RAND function in the Excel spreadsheet. In this column I've then assumed that any value less than a certain amount is equal to 0 uh, returns me a number of zero and any number greater than that, that amount returns me a win and I've set it so that we have 60% um, winners and 40% losers so every time we go down here and you see a win that represents a winning trade every time you see a zero that represents a losing trade and this is a statistical way to measure the effect of um, a particular ratio of wins to losses I've now chosen um, a trading system, any trading system, it can be your own trading system, it can be one of mine, and I've assumed that we have 60% winners, and this percentage is the percentage losers. Now, I've got 200 trades, I'm going to scroll down and show you, I've got 200 values in here, and I can go all the way down to the bottom, and each one of those values represents a single trade, and they're statistically randomized to produce 40% losers, 60% winners, and you can see roughly how this should play out if you were in a live trading situation and you've taken 200 trades in a row. Now let's have a look at how this works out. The first trade is a loss. The next two trades are winners. The next one's a loss. The next trade's a winner. Then a loss. Then a winner. Then two losses. Four winners in a row. Two losses. A winner. Three losses in a row. And this represents um, uh, fairly accurately live trading if you've got a, a, a certain a certainty about your percentage winners and your percentage losers and it's kind of randomized of course in real life it's not exactly like this but it's a very good simulation now the point I want to illustrate is that in a series of trades even though we know we're going to win 60 percent of our trades in a series of trades you can get groups or clumps of winners and clumps of losers together so what I've done is wherever we've got four winners or more I've highlighted them in green that's in a row so there we've got four winners in a row and every time we have four winners a row, in a row, I've highlighted that clump in green. So you can see every now and then, not very often, we get four winners in a row or more. And I think only out of 200 different trades, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten occasions out of those 200 trades where we have four winners in a row or more. Now similarly, I've done this with the losers. Wherever we have three losing trades in a row or more, I've highlighted that in red. And you can see, let's count how many. We've got three losers there. We've got four in a row there, three in a row, three in a row, three in a row, and one, two, three, four, five losers in a row, and that's it. Now, the point I'm trying to illustrate is, here is that if we have a number of winners in a row, it's a good thing to stop trading because statistically it's likely that we'll have a loser thereafter or even a string of losers. So it's good to stop trading once you've had a few winners and take a break and that's why what I do is I take a few trades a day. Once I've made a good win or a number of profitable trades, I stop for the day. And I have a daily target and a weekly target and a monthly target. My um, weeks go the same. If I've had a few winning days, then I stop for the week once I've met my weekly target and I wait until the next big week before trading and I do the same on a monthly basis. Once I've achieved my target for the, for the month and that would indicate that I've had uh, a number of winning days and a number of winning weeks, weeks in a row then I stop trading for the month and in that way I avoid uh, moving from a, a, a series of winners into losing positions and so I capitalize on the winning streaks and then I stop so that I don't hit the losing streaks. Now I want to go on the inverse of that. When we have a losing streak, for example three losing trades in a row, it's important that we don't stop trading because statistically um, it's likely that after a number of losers we're going to hit some winners. So there's a clump of three losers and then we start hitting the winners. Now a lot of traders 
will stop trading once they've had one or two or three losers in a day or a week, or whatever it might be, they'll often stop trading with the concept in mind that they're on a losing streak um, and things aren't going well or the market's just not right for them and they stop trading and they then miss out on the winners that follow. I've seen this happen so many times. I've often seen traders stop once they've had one or two losers and they can't emotionally trade for the rest of the day or the rest of the week and they stop trading and they lose out on the winners that follow the losers. Now, bear in mind as well, if you've got a decent trading system and you've got good money management, your losers, the size of the losses on your losers should be smaller than the average size of the wins on your winners. And so a streak of losing trades like this can easily, for example, we've got three here, can easily be made up, the losses can be made up by one or two winning trades. And so three losses can be made up by perhaps one or even two wins. Let's go down through the losing streaks. You can see there four losers in a row. Now a lot of traders would simply stop after one or two losers and particularly after four losers they wouldn't be able to cope with that emotionally and then miss out on the string of winners that happens thereafter. There we go, three losers in a row followed by two winners that would easily recoup the, num the losses uh, incurred by the losers. There's three more losers in a row followed by a winner, another loser and another winner and because if you have smaller losers than winners you'll recoup your losses easily and so on and so on and you can see often after a string of losers you get a string of winners that's why it's important not to stop trading once you hit some losers and that's why it's important to stop trading once you've had a string of winners if you remember that then you won't get as emotionally involved in your trading and you'll remember that statistically it's important to stop once you've had a string of winners and to not stop once you've had a string of losers well these are quick tips and tricks to improve your trading profits i hope you found that useful